this picture before. Raise your hand if you've ever seen this picture before. Yes. Uh, levanten la mano si han visto esta esta foto uh, en el pasado. Okay, great. Where have you seen this picture before? At the table. At a restaurant. Okay, great. Where have you seen this before? At a restaurant. Okay. Unos de ustedes dicen que lo han visto en un restaurante en el pasado. This particular icon is called the salt warning icon, and this particular icon is called the salt warning icon, and it's mandated now that all Restaurants have this icon next to any menu item that contains more than 2,300 milligrams of salt. Do you know why the Department of Health would mandate such a thing? Tengan esto, este icono en las comidas que tienen más de 2,300 miligramos de sal. Yes, 2,300 miligrams of salt is the recommended limit of sodium that you should be consuming every day. La razón es porque máximo de la cantidad máxima que debemos comer de sal es de 2,300 miligramos. Y eh, esto indica los productos que tienen más de 2,300 miligramos en un restaurante. And what do you think happens if you eat too much salt, if you consume too much salt for a long period of time? What happens? ¿Qué creen que pasa cuando consumimos demasiado? Absolutely. Your blood pressure goes up and what else can happen? Exactamente, se nos sube la presión arterial y qué más puede pasar? The recommended amount of salt per day, the limit is 2,300 milligrams per day, which works out to be about a teaspoon of salt. How much? How much? So I have a chart here that shows the maximum amount of salt which is recommended and if you look here the red bar shows the average amount that each American gets per day of salt which is about 3400 milligrams per day. En este cuadro acá podemos ver la cantidad recomendada máxima que es de 2,300 miligramos y en este de acá se ve el promedio de la gente en los Estados Unidos de cuánto en realidad consumen que es 3,400 miligramos. New Yorkers are currently getting a little bit less per day than the average American. They're getting about 3,200 miligramos per day. Ah, los millones están consumiendo uh, aproximadamente 3,200 miligramos, que es un poquito menos del promedio, pero todavía es mucho más que la cantidad máxima recomendada. Your first, basically that means that you're getting more than 40% of the recommended amount per day of sodium. And New Yorkers, four out of five of you are consuming too much salt every day. Nosotros como neoyorquinos estamos consumiendo 40% más de la sal recomendada y 4 de cada 5 neoyorquinos consumen uh, demasiada sal más de la recomendada. And where do you think the salt is coming from? Any guesses? Yeah. Sí, from the sea. Uh, ¿De dónde creen que viene tanta sal en nuestra dieta? Sí, from the sea. From the sea. Are we getting the most oh. amount of uh, salt from? Meat, meat, carnes or Absolutely. Okay, so there are a lot of foods that contain excess salt in them. In particular, processed foods, 
and restaurant foods are where you're going to find the most amount of salt. Especialmente la comida, las comidas de los restaurantes y las comidas empaquetadas es donde encontramos la mayoría de la sal que consumimos. It's really easy to get that teaspoon of salt or that 200 and um, 200 and uh, 2300 milligrams of sodium. It's very easy to get that amount of salt very quickly without even knowing it. De esta manera podemos tener demasiada sal en nuestra dieta, sal en nuestra dieta sin darnos cuenta. And the issue is, it's really hard to tell how much sodium you're getting just by looking at the menu. And if you see solo ver un menu and you see how much salt there is in the menu. Okay, thank you. 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 Thank you.